Uh, my name's Simon Fairley. Uh, this is Moncton Wild Court, uh, where I've been living for 13 years and running a micro dairy. Probably the oldest micro dairy in Britain. It's been going since 1941. I took over in 2010. We have two Jersey cows. We make cheese, butter, yogurt and so forth, most of which get sold up at the big house up there, which are 120 yards away. The place is quite highly structured. Everybody here has a role. It is a bit, it's a, a community, but it's also a business. My role is the farmer, basically and I run the farm, which is cow's milk and, and pigs, and I also do onions and potatoes on a sort of medium scale. But I participate in all the community meetings. We make community decisions together. You know, we get lots of volunteers coming here, but they want to learn about the farming and the growing and so forth, and maybe the cooking. Uh, I sell scythes and teach scything, and together with some other people, I edit The Land magazine. The, the place is a charity, it's run by trustees. At the end of last year, two of the trustees wanted to resign and some new trustees got co-opted on. They've ordered four people to leave, myself, uh, Jill, who works with me on The Land magazine, uh, Jasmine, the head gardener, and John, the office worker, have all been ordered to leave, basically dissolving the whole community that's been working here for the last uh, 15 years. The next issue of The Land has been put on hold we can't afford to take them to court. I have to say, resisting eviction is a full-time occupation, I've discovered. The purpose of the Lang magazine is to make people more aware of the importance of access to land and how that is more fundamental to people's needs than access to money or access to a vote, for that matter. I'd like to see people who are landless and want land moving on to land that's owned by big landowners and taking it over like they do in Brazil. So the mission that's behind the land is to emphasise that access to land is something that so many people have lost and they don't even realise they've lost it, uh, which is dreadfully sad, I think.